Hello everybody and welcome out to another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing Video. Today, taking a look at Airmail Prioritaire Special Deliverer. Uh, this is a game by uh, Tony Lopez. This is from Ludo Nova. Has a big map here. You're delivering stuff across the United States. Step into the shoes of the aviation tycoons and manage one of the companies competing for contracts to establish and operate the first airmail service. Grab the incentives offered by the government by plotting the most efficient routes and developing the technology that will take you, allow you to build the most autonomous and reliable models. Whoever can profit the most of their company will win. I like this packaging a lot. There are a lot of games that do this uh, already, but I, I think it's a pretty good look overall. Bam! It might look like a lot of air in the box. Um, because it is. <laughs> I don't really know what else uh, to say uh, than that, but these pieces are very cool looking. All right, where to start even? I, I, I just want to ogle over all of this. I'm very charmed by the look of this game. I love this era of aviation and history and stuff. Nice plastic uh, airplane pieces over here. Those look good. They come in a bunch of different colors. I'm not sure yet if those are player colors. Maybe I should be looking at the rulebook first, but nah. How many players was this, actually? I didn't even, uh... Here we go. This one says 2 to 5 players, 30 to 75 minutes, which I like the sound of that, age 10 plus. I think the brown of this box is messing with the warm cool of the camera, by the way. So if you see it kind of fading orange or fading blue, it might be because of that. I love these gear tokens. These gear tokens are excellent. I really like that. And of course, the, the dollar trackers here. Those are really neat looking too. So I'm liking the pieces, the overall appearance, and the look of this. You know what? Let's dive into the rule book a bit. So maybe I could speak a little bit more to kind of what's going on here. Spanish rule book, English rule book. 1925, it says. All right, so you got a map of the United States here. A double-sided map, actually, United States and Canada. That's pretty cool. Different maps, uh, income, technology, and planes, and then packages represented by cubes. So, blah, blah, blah. set up your general objective here. Transport packages between different divisions of the country. Comply with the Postal Service decrees. Make express deliveries. I'm all about that. So, uh, it takes place uh, of an indeterminate series of rounds in which, uh, starting with the starting player, Proceeding clockwise, each player in turn must choose between two options. Play a permit card from their hand or ask for a grant. Okay, so playing a permit card, it looks like it has a couple of different steps down here, and the cards will allow you to do different things. What is asking for a grant? If you cannot or do not want to play a permit card, you can request a grant from the government instead. In game terms, asking for a grant allows you to perform in the order listed the following two actions. Either draw from the public permits or draw a special permit and then move your executive plane forward uh, by the cards placed on the permit track and take the action indicated. Okay, so it doesn't sound like taking a loan. Interesting, I'm curious how that's all going to go. Not too long of a, of a rule series here. Different income at the end of, uh, end of the game and final scoring and such. City bonuses, postal service decrees. Okay. I mean, this is not a terribly thick rule book. Everything looks bright and kind of well illustrated, so I like the look of that. It doesn't seem like I'll have too hard of a time parsing this, but this is a this is a big board. Oh my goodness! Okay, hold on. I need to figure out what's going on here. Holy macaroni! Oh! Oh! I did not have the camera set up for this. Oh my goodness. That is, uh, that is bigger than the shot for sure. This is a, a, a shockingly large board actually. Um, especially because a lot of the, a lot of the space here is the northern tundra area of Canada kind of unused. Well, you got income tracks and stuff down here on the bottom and you've got uh, cards that go around the outside. This is all gets seated with those cards. I guess that's going to be the I mean, on all four sides of the board look like this. Let me attempt to flip this over to the United States side, show that one off as well. Whew! This is massive!
massive! I cannot understand how big this board is! I was expecting... Uh, two-thirds of the size of this, maybe, tops. But, my goodness, this is massive! It's very, I mean, it's, it's plain, simple colored trucks and stuff, but I feel like it looks nice for all of that. Oh my goodness. Uh, have I mentioned how big this board is? Look how many folds that is. Okay, well anyway, I, I, I... Wow! Cubes, hey, there's cubes in this game. Cubes look fine, the player colors, um, you know, I, I'm not sure how distinguishable they are necessarily. They are the very plain colors. Uh, I'm not sure if they intentionally chose ones that maybe are differentiable a little bit easier. You got some tokens here. Clearly, the big thing popped out easy. The rest of these pop out just fine. Comes with some bags. I mean, there is surprisingly not that many components, but did I mention it comes with a gigantic board? So I'm going to guess that these are maybe the post office decrees. Not too much art, you know, not too overwhelming looking here, but do you like that kind of sketch artwork there on the back? Let's take a look at some more of these cards here. Um, you know, if the packaging will open, that is. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Tricked it. Come now. Come now, Mr. Tumnus. Here we go. Cleveland, Detroit, Indianapolis, Louisville. Ooh, is Las Vegas on here? Elko is on here! Las Vegas has to be in here. Fresno! There we go, Las Vegas. Why is Fresno worth more money than Las Vegas? I know it's 1925, but Fresno, come on! Unbelievable, the shabby treatment Las Vegas gets around here. San Francisco is worth the most, sure. Seattle, uh-huh. All right, fine. Fresno wins in 1925. <laughs> we see where things are now. Elko. <laughs> I have friends from Elko. Uh, they would be very shocked if I told them that they were in a board game. In fact, yeah, let me find the Elko card again. Yeah! I'm gonna show this off to them. Bam! They made the map, baby. Alright, so that's cool. You see the different divisions, and you also see that there's the Canadian deck, and then, of course, the United States deck. Obviously, depending on the map, the side that you're playing on. So, there you go, folks. Just a nice little look there inside of the box of Airmel. Thank you for coming by another Dice Tower daily unboxing video. I hope that you all have yourselves a fantastic day.